In this multiple choice question, we have statements, four of them, that are made about the polynomial x cubed minus 2x squared minus 13x minus 10. So we want to determine the truth to each of the statements. There's only two of them that are correct. We need to find the two that are correct. So let's start with statement number one. It says when p of x is divided by x plus 1, the quotient, that's the answer, is x squared minus 3x minus 10. So let's check that by doing long division. So I'm going to go x plus 1 divided into x cubed minus 2x squared minus 13x minus 1. So I start with my leading coefficients. So x cubed divided by x is x squared. And then I multiply x squared times x is x cubed. x squared times 1 is x squared. Subtract. So x cubed take away x cubed is gone. Negative 2x squared take away x squared is negative 3x squared. And I can bring down my next term, negative 13x. So negative 3x squared divided by x is negative 3x. And now I multiply. Negative 3x times x, negative 3x squared. Negative 3x times 1 is negative 3x. And I subtract. So negative 3x squared take away negative 3x squared is 0. Negative 13x take away negative 3x is negative 10x. And I bring my last one down. So negative 10x divided by x is negative 10. And I multiply. Negative 10 times x is negative 10x. Negative 10 times 1 is negative 10. And I have a remainder of 0. So when p of x is divided by x plus 1, the quotient is, in fact, x squared minus 3x minus 10. So statement number 1 is true. So I know that c and d are not the options. So now I'm going to jump down to 3 and 4 to determine which one is the true statement. So statement number 3 says p of negative 2 is equal to 0, so x minus 2 is a factor. Well, let's first of all test to see if this is true. Is p of negative 2 in fact 0? So p of negative 2, replace your x values with negative 2, and we're going to see if this indeed is equal to 0. Okay, so a little bit squishy there. Let me just erase what I was working on before just to give me a little bit more room. So I substitute each with brackets of the x values with negative 2, and now I just work it out. So negative 2 cubed is negative 8, minus 2 times negative 2 squared is 4. Negative 13 and negative 2 is 26, take away 10. Of course, you could put this all into your calculator. I just want to show you how the steps work. Negative 8, take away, 2 times 4 is 8, plus 26 minus 10. So looking at this, I have this is negative 16, and another 10 is negative 26. Negative 26 plus 26 is, in fact, 0. So I know that that part is true, and since it is equal to 0, the factor would not be x minus 2, that's the root, so the root is negative 2, and if you add 2 to both sides, that means that the factor is x plus 2. So I know that this one here is false, so that can't be the option. This has to be the option. So the answer to number 10 is B.